Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. I recently got a laser engraver, which is pretty awesome, but at the same time, you've got all this light flying everywhere. You need somewhere, some way to protect it. Safety glasses in the right range do, do protect it, but at the same time, it's good to have an enclosure around it to protect everybody else and yourself, to give you kind of a second, second layer of protection. So in order to get this flavor protection, I uh, built one out of a half inch MDF and some laser shielding from J Photonics. This, uh, this shielding has a 4 plus OD optical density for uh, filtering the laser in up to a four, 500 nanometer range, which is important because obviously not all, not all laser glasses created the same. So anyway, here I am making the, making the box, um, you know, nailed it shut in and glued it because I, I don't think I had any clamps that would quite fit it right. So. Apparently you can't ever have too many clamps, so here I go putting it on the laser and it seems to fit pretty well and then you can see inside it's just, you know, sits in there pretty well. The dimensions, um, it's 8 inches high without the, without the cover and then 15 by 16 on the uh, other dimensions. So here I'm cutting the cover, I just cut it out with my CNC or my manual router, um, you can see kind of my neat little fixture there. So. Also, what I did after I cut that out, I undercut it so that the laser shielding would, would fit in the middle, kind of to sit down so that if, if any light were to get out, it would have to bounce off that shielding and then, you know, onto the, uh, onto the MDF several times, hopefully just diffusing it quite a bit. So, here it is, it fits, fits pretty well, and uh, so that's a good success. And then I'm marking it for the handles, because I, the, um, you know, the shielding's removable. Mark that, mark that, and so yeah, matched up pretty well, I guess, uh, I guess my mathematics skills have totally degraded since college, and screwed it in. Had to actually make the holes a little, little larger than normal because of the polycarbonate or the acrylic weld cut. Here's some sparks, and they'll feel like that, um, kind of to dull the bottom. So there it is, fit on it, and then we're going to see it tested with a laser. And you can see there's laser on with the shielding and then without. It's really bright. It's a good thing I have glasses on in there, otherwise it might not be good for my eyes. It really had my doubts anyway, so I just wanted that second layer. So I made the vent holes kind of based around a uh, computer PC fan because I thought I might use it, but didn't end up doing that. So anyway, you can see there my first try at routing it out that wasn't real successful. Didn't set the z-axis right and then I didn't fix it right here either so on my third try I finally got it right had the fix screen set up right had my uh, axes all calibrated correctly so anyway um, that's kind of the vent being cut out ended up using this as a template you know you can see me here I'm using another piece of MDF on the side and just stuck it up against there and then drilled it uh, quite, a, quite a few times so it's more and more drilling it won't make you wait through all of that but here's a little little sample of what I had to do and then after that, what I did was I took a orbital sander and took out some of the MDF that kind of like just came off. And so that, that worked out pretty well. And then, then I glued that on the back. And the, the theory here was the thicker that was, the less chance of the light bouncing out because it had to kind of go up at a steep angle. And then even if it was like real thin, you could look down at an angle at the laser. But this should prevent that. So there I am, put some glue on it, and then put a 2x4 to rest the clamp on. But as you can see, I didn't know where the clamp was, so ended up just flipping it over and had to rest while I went and got it, and then put it on, let it dry, and then fit, fit up pretty well. There I am doing the other side, so I had two, two ways for air to get in, and worked out pretty well. Another thing I did, I put a, a little door on the bottom so I could slide in larger pieces, um, which you'll see see the results in a second, but that, that worked out pretty well. You know, in the end, maybe I should have just made it so the whole thing had a hinge or something, but I was, on the other hand, that might have a hard time, you know, really being sure I blocked all the light. So, anyway, I painted it, uh, looks good, and then I painted the inside too, so somewhat, so the light wouldn't bounce around quite as much. But yeah, looks pretty good after that. Um, you can see the hinge on the right. That'll be displayed in just a second. 
So this is what I tur turned out as. Um, I'm just putting a piece of wood in there through the little, little slot. And now I'll turn it on and you can see it working. Again, it's really bright. At least I assume so. I've tried never to look at it without glasses. So, but you put the glass back on and it diffuses that, or it blocks it quite a bit. And also you might see underneath there's a uh, ventilation thing that goes to my shop on my rigid vac. Works out pretty well. And you can see there's not much light getting out of the, uh, the vents. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment, like.